Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 1 Core, Variant 1 1, May June 2021. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. And if I have helped you, do write in the comment section. Let's start. Zakari asked the 30 students in his class which is their favorite sport. The table shows the results. We have netball, football, hockey, and tennis. Complete the pictogram. The key is the whole circle in four parts represents four people. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have 12. So this is one circle, which is four. This is eight and four, 12. So you just count the number of circles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We want 6. So we have one full circle which is 4 and a half circle. You can make the circle like this half or you can make it like this half. Doesn't make a difference. The next one we have is 5 circle, 5 people sorry. So we will have one circle and only one fourth, four plus one five. The second question is quite easy. Find the value of root 225. Just put this in the calculator and you will get the answer 15. B, write down the reciprocal of two over three. Reciprocal means you just flip the number over. So the denominator will be written in the numerator and the number in the numerator in the denominator work out three quarters of one third three quarters means three fourth and one third is one over three this will give us the answer one over four just a minute we'll go back to two b this is a um, improper fraction so it's better you change it to mixed number which is going to be 1, 1 over 2. You can do it in the calculator. Now, when you put in the calculator 3 over 2, press equal. You will still get 3 over 2. There is above the SD button, a uh, delete button, one SD like this. Press that and your answer will change into either a decimal or a mixed number. You press it two times if you want for the mixed number and you will get the answer directly. Part D, work out negative 7 minus 6 minus 8. It's a calculator question. Put the whole thing in the calculator and you will get the answer negative 5. Moving on to question number 3. Write down the rotational symmetry of this diagram. There are four equal squares shaded part. So the rotational symmetry will be 4. On the diagram, draw all the lines of symmetry. Lines of symmetry is that it cuts the graph into equal parts. So this is one line, this is one line. Even the diagonals will cut the shape into two equal parts. These are the lines. Next. The stem and leaf diagram show the number of hours that each of 16 students studied last week. 1 is to 2 represents 12 hours. So this is 12 hours. 1 and 5 is 15 hours. You want to find the median. Median is the mid value. Total number of students are 16. If it is an even number, then you divide by 2, you get 8. This is your position it's the eighth position but if it is an even number so let's count this is one two three four five six seven eight so we have 27 that's your eighth position you have to also write your next position which is the ninth position which is 29 2 and 9 and then divide by 
2. The answer is 28. Next is the mode. Mode is the most repeated number. So from here we can see which is the most repeated number. 1 and 1 is there. So 2, 1 which is 21. The range. Range means the highest value minus the lowest value. Highest value is 47 minus the lowest value which is 12. That will give us 35 as the answer. Moving on to question number 5. The volume of a cuboid is 24 cubic centimeter. And the base of the cuboid is 3 centimeter by 2 centimeter. To find the volume we need length times base times height. So the height has not been given to us. We need to find the height. Replace your length and base. That will give us 6. Shift it to the other side. It will be a divide. Our height is going to be 4 centimeter. Now we have got our length width and height and we need to draw the net. There are different ways of drawing the net. Whichever way you know, you can use it. First draw your base, which is uh, 3 by 2. This is 3 by 2. You will have two rectangles, remember, with the width 3 by 2. There are total six faces. Two you will have by three by four multiply by the height and two you will have two by four. So that you need to keep in mind. Now here we will draw the height which is four. All the sides we will do that. We can see that we have got 2 by 4, 2, this is 2 by 4 and 2 by 4. That part is done. Now one more we will draw here, 3 by 4. This is 3 by 4 and 3 by 4. Which one is remaining now? We got 3 by 2, so one more 3 by 2 which we will draw here. You know the formula for surface area? It is 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times W height. So this is the formula that I have used here. Okay. Question number 6. We have been given a distance time graph. The travel graph shows a student's journey. This is the time taken. This is the distance. Explain what is happening at 14.20 and 14.40. It's a straight line. That means the student is not moving. The student is stationary. Always a sta straight line means that. Part B, complete the statement. The student is traveling fastest between the times. Fastest is when your line is the steepest. So where do you think it is the steepest line? We have this line here, this here, and here. As you can notice, this is the steepest line between 13 zero zero and we have every time 10 minutes 10 20 30 40 50 60 so at 20 so 13 20 why it is steepest because the gradient is steepest so keep that in mind Question number 7. The probability that a train is late is 0 0.15. Write down the probability that train is not late. 
the train being late and not late or something happening and something not happening the probability is always one so if you have the probability of something and you want to find of not you just minus it from 1 so 1 minus 0 0.15 is the answer 0 0.85 so remember probability of something happening plus probability of something not happening this dash means not or prime is equal to 1 question number 8 nasni changes six thousand five hundred dollars this is the dollars to euros five thousand seven ninety eight at a bank work out the exchange rate the bank uses one dollar is equal to how many euros we cross multiply so six thousand five hundred multiply by x is equal to 1 times 5798 divide 5798 with 6500 we'll get the answer 0 0.892 so one dollar is equal to 0 0.892 euros question number nine is very easy you have column vector we just add the numbers there's a plus in the middle so six plus eight like that you write it you will get 14 and negative five plus negative one put it in the calculator negative five plus minus one you will get negative six so that is our final answer next we have again a column vector but there's a number outside that number means you multiply so three multiply by negative four is negative 12 and 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. Moving on to the next question. The diagram shows two parallel lines. These are the two parallel lines. And we have to find the values of angle A, B and C. I hope you are aware of all the angle rules. To find A. A is equal to 59 because, do you understand why? Whenever there is a cross like that, this angle will equal to this angle because vertically opposite angles are equal. Next, you want to find B. Look carefully at, this is the parallel line and this is the parallel line. There is one line cutting like that. So this is like an F. Whenever you have an F like this, the outside angle and the inside angle are the same. So 37 is equal to B. What is the reason? Corresponding angles are equal to each other. So if it makes an F, it is a corresponding angle. Now we have to find C. We know that A is 59. We also know that uh, B is 37. So what will C be? When we add all three of them, it equals to 180. So C is equal to 180 minus the sum of the other two angles. That will give us 84. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. For question number 11 onwards, please watch part 2. Thank you for watching.